Get a grip on your bad self, learn to love the game. Get on down to the roulette wheel, and pray that the end comes and wheels and win its way. The hotel's not alive, and the mystery's not the why. This fly, we're going to start by tying on a size 8, 3x dry fly hook. And now we have a, it's a pre-cut uh, foam like type, it's like a foamish wing. We bought these at the Blue Herring in Milton. We'll leave a link in the description below. But this is where we bought these wings. And you're just going to simply tie them on and figure eight them like you would if you were tying on a deer or a hair wing. You're going to figure eight this wing on. Now we could you could use uh, head cement. We're going to use the UV treatment. So, but you can put it between the wings, fold the wings kind of where they're supposed to be, put them upright, and let it dry. And the wings should stay exactly where you put them. Now we're using deer hair tail. You want to buy, get a clump of deer hair. Don't worry about how long it is or anything. Just get a clump of deer hair as big around as you want the body to be. As this will make up most of your body of the fly. You want to put a whole bunch of wraps right at that last maybe quarter inch of where that deer hair ends. And you want to start building up like a taper between the deer hair and the hook. And you want to taper that up. And then you will take the fly, turn it upside down, put your head cement on there. This will keep the tail from spinning or coming undone or flying out when you're fishing it. It'll keep the tails, the deer hair secure when you fish this fly. Make it stronger. And don't worry, that deer hair is very buoyant. 
and it'll that this float of this fly will float really well. Now you want to take your thread back, and what you're trying to get ultimately of the look of the fly is you kind of want it to look like it's ribbed or segmented, segment, segmented. Sorry. As you go up the tail, um, I realize this, you get some stray wraps that, but you want it to make it look as segmented as possible on your wraps, and you go all the way out to the tra tail. And when you get out to the furthest point, as long as you want the tail to be make several wraps and if you didn't notice before I started wrapping that's when you get to the bend of the hook you want to go you want to get out away from the hook so you go under and so you do a couple wraps right there at the base of the hook you want to add uh, head cement to your string this way when you start making the wraps up the tail they won't all slide down on you or slide up a lot of times if you don't do this and you do your wraps and you go out the end of the tail and you make a couple wraps to secure it and you come back in all your thread wraps went down to the bend of the hook or slid off the end of the tail or moved up the end of the tail this head putting head cement on there will help prevent that and like I said when you get to the length of the tail you want you want to make several head wraps or thread wraps there and then come back down and then go back up to where your wing is and uh, do a couple wraps there to secure it Now down where you're gonna, where you had started the tail, where all you had all them thread wraps, you're gonna dub this all the way up to the wing, and this you always want to dub this area around the wing, because on the fly it's it's not smooth like the tail is in this area. Uh, so you want to put dubbing there. Um, now you are going to tie in a dart done hackle for your hackle on this fly.
Now you want to whip finish your head, uh, head cement or UV treatment it. Now you want to grab a hold of some t fibers on the tail, the length of the tail you want. So go along and pick out some fibers in the tail, maybe about six or seven of them that are about the length you want. Pull them, set, pull them aside and let all the other ones just t come out and hold on to the ones you want at the same length and cut all the rest of the way, all the rest of the tail fibers away there and that'll give you a tail the length you want. And you want to cut down as close to that last couple wraps as you did and uh, you will see later on I go back and put some UV treatment at them final wraps or if you have head cement at the final wraps it's uh, you should do this before you trim the tail because sometimes when you pull the tail separate the fibers and tail to pull all the wraps down but thank God I head cemented the string and this did not happen but you want to do that before you start cutting the tail All right, now I'm going to show you a different version. It's the same with Zach Fly, but instead of using the black on the tail, we use its uh, cream color. Now you'll notice on the, like the, uh, some of the other drakes, not the slate drake that we just tied, but some of the other drakes uh, you tie all have a cream belly. Now the backs of the flies might be green the green drake or whatever but the bellies are all cream so what you want to do is you want to get a thread that matches the cream of the tail because you want it to look segmented underneath but you don't want it to be any different color you don't want it to stick out and you'll notice in mine I got had dirt on my fingers or something that got on the string and it really sticks out you don't want that to happen you want it to blend in under the belly now I'm gonna turn this one to a green drake so down there by the wing I'm gonna use a green drake uh, dry dubbing and then I had a, I didn't have many green hackles to choose from so I used a really long hackle and just trimmed it down it I don't know how much different you know you can you can use regular hackle if you have a greenish I didn't have a green hackle I mean I did but they were really long fibers so I just cut them down I don't know how different of difference that would make if this fish see it because the legs are pretty big on a green drake all right now you noticed I used a green marker and colored the back the top half of the tail green you can tell color the tail fibers green too oh there's another way of doing this fly that I did a couple browns and I'll show you the video of them when they're finished right here. I admire these flies. They're a pretty fly. I really like how they came out. Anyway, you notice the brown on the back. I took six quills of a turkey quill, off a turkey tail. And then I measured them for the length, the total length I wanted the tail. Tied them in on top of the deer hair. Rib, did the same thing as I did with the flies in the earlier part. And then when I got out, back to the back, when I did my final wraps at the tail, and went back in, then I just cut away all the deer, the deer hair. So all that was left was the turkey quill sticking out. And that made the brown tail. And they came out pretty good. Uh, 
Hey, thank you for watching our tying video to the end. And on that last fly with the brown turkey, uh, I almost had a fish video for you. Um, but he ran away from me after taking that fly, that exact, one of them exact flies. I don't know, it might have been the one I was showing you there. But he took off with it, came back towards me, laid on the bottom creek, and just shook his head to that fly come out. And there was not much I could do about it, but... He was a monster, monster brown trout. And so, they work. Um, you could be creative on these. You could, like, uh, I dyed one green with marker. Uh, that's the only thing I had at the time. But you could go out and get uh, a green turkey and do the same thing as I did with the brown. Um you could use all kinds of materials you can put on the top of that deer hair and run it out and use it for tail instead of using uh, turkey. Uh, you could even have used pheasant maybe for that. A piece of pheasant tail for that tail on top too. You Be creative, you know. Come up with your own techniques and always be creative. Thinking of what, you know, the whole belly is... A couple years ago, I picked a freaking fly up off the water, and its belly was, it might have been brown as heck on top, but its belly was cream. And what do the fish really see when they come up with the flies with the cream? So, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, always tell your friends about us. We post our videos. Uh, I will be making videos very sporadically because I have to go back to work because, well, unfortunately, I can't do this for a living. Um... Keep telling your friends about us and keep them subscriptions up and views up and someday maybe we won't have to. We can do this all year and take you all over the world fishing. Um, it's all up to you, my audience, you guys. And thank you for giving us our, I think we're up to 115, 16 subscribers. That's awesome. And uh, watch for our, uh, you only have a couple more days. I think this weekend is when we're going to pick our winner on our free fly contest. So make sure you go check out that video. And always, our interactive button up here, we're going to put videos in there, you know, that we want you to check out. You can go check them out up in that I button. Um, you see things were popping up as you were watching this video. Uh, you can uh, donate to Child Unlimited. Uh, donate to this channel. Uh... If you would ever make a donation to the channel, we would use it to uh, go places, bring you other destinations that, you know, money has limit on us for now. But, uh, so you can donate this channel. Uh, and everybody's down in the description is Gary, Russ Cat Rods, Team Hanging Outdoors, Penn's Creek Angler. And uh, since we got them wings, the blue herring, we're going to put a link down there for them. Go check out them. They have all, almost everything you'll need for uh, tying any, any one of our flies. And most likely, if they don't have it there, they will get it for you. And they have them wings. The wings, they have them in different colors, different sizes. Uh, they have these small ones where you can tie them down to a, probably a size 16 or smaller. And... Uh, so you can use them for, you could use them for smaller March brown patterns. You can use them for the softer. I seen some in there the other day that were really good for softers. So go check out the blue herring. Go buy your stuff if you live in this area. If you're not, check out your local fly tires and ask them where you can get your pre-made uh, wings. If not, I think you can buy the foam and make them cut them yourself. But they uh, work really well. And like I said, I hooked into a monster brown the other day. That's only, I didn't have the video camera, wasn't running for very long when it got off. So, like always, thank you, and tell your friends, and subscribe, and thank you for watching our videos.